apple, mate. I don't know what you mean. I think an apple is perfectly suitable for a podcast. I actually can't think of anything. <laughs> I'd less like to listen to in my ears. If I put this down, shall we start? Yeah. Sketchpad Pod. I'm Anna and I'm Alicia, um, and this is the podcast where we talk about creativity, pop culture, and lots more, all while making art and drinking tea. Yeah, that's right. We got a proper intro now. Who does? <laughs> <laughs> um, we do. Yeah. So this episode, we're doing the cousin tag, which this is actually is exciting. Episode ten, everybody. I know. Can you believe it? Everyone's like, Honor, you say that every single Every week. single time, but we're just, you um, know, we're, we're happy shocked. to still be doing it. <laughs> um, so, our first episode was a bit of a Q&A get to know us, so maybe this could be like part two of this. It's a cousin tag, so, you yeah. know, should have some like funny stories. Um, I was about to be like, where are my scissors? Oh, yeah, sorry about them. that one. Um, okay. Yeah, so before we get started on that, shall we do our weekly wrap? yes or should we do art okay we'll explain what what we're we're doing doing first art wise and then we will do that okay so i've got a while back i went to a oh it was from a charity shop actually it was a pair of um skirt dungarees um that i love a good pair of skirt they were they were like really nice they're quite loose and they went down probably below my knees so i like cropped them up so it's like mid mid leg between my knee and yeah head. anyway it was a skirt length that was a really <laughs> complex way of saying that we, we got there eventually we got there eventually and it's got like quite big pockets and no um like belt loops so it means you can't like cinch it in at the waist and it's also it's just a lot of it's just, it's just a bit shapeless so I'm basically using a, a lighter wash denim to um, put pockets on over the top and of the current pockets. So there's like contrasting pocket shape. And then I'll also add belt loops so I can do that. Um, but the funny thing is, do you know, Leisha, where this light wash denim is from? I do not. The oh, d- oh, <laughs> oh, no, no, I do. Do you? They is that by any chance my pair of jeans <laughs> that I gave to you, which you then cut and made into shorts already? <laughs> Lovely shorts. <sighs> okay, we've we've heard about in this previous ep- in a previous episode. Felicia's still not over the fact she gave me a pair of jeans that weren't very like nice fitting. <laughs> They're a bit of an odd shape, so I cut them down into denim shorts, and they are lovely yep. shorts. And now I'm using more of a fabric to updo a. A dungaree dress. So, yeah, you know, and now I'm thinking I need to go around some charity shops and try and find some jeans that yeah. I can cut into shorts. Cut into shorts. And I already it's... had some that would have worked perfectly. Oh, uh, well, you know, sharing is caring. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, what I am doing today is, well, um, yet to be determined, really. I, <laughs> I decided... Honor gave me a whole stack of National Geographic When magazines. she says a whole stack, I gave her about six. Yeah. And I have, like, 30. <laughs> Man, that is I'm, a lot. I'm, I had a massive run yeah. to sort out. And, yeah. The thing is, I already have, like, a lot of glamour magazines and a lot yeah. of, like, um, this photography magazine, which I use for collage. But I was like, you know, National Geographic, let's see what we can do with this. Yeah. However, that relies on me using my scissors to um I'm cut nearly done the work which Anna was like do you have scissors I'm like yes basically I'd already them. started sewing the shape of one of the pockets to like sew on top of the current pocket but I'd made it the whole size of the pocket but you know on jeans when they have the stitching it looks a bit weird without like the stitching so I'm like inlaying it a little bit to um technical terms right there i know i don't think it's the right technical term um so i just need to it means i re- need to re-sew the sides which is a bit annoying but it's all right well while you're doing that shall we do our weekly wrap yeah 
I mean, yeah, what's what's been going on with you on it? Well, here's the thing. I still haven't posted on the Instagram account because <laughs> you girls being busy right there. <laughs> there those. Um so I finished college on Thursday and Woo-hoo. I'm thrilled about that, I have to say. Um summer so I just ready. finished summer ready. I just finished first year college and um so i've been busy busy um so i haven't actually even done any more from my piece from last week because i'm trying i've got like i know who am i i've got to get a lot of um i've got a lot of holiday homework that i want to get out of the way yeah um so as soon as that's done i will be on it like carb on it i'll be (laughs) i was thinking that and i was like (laughs) is she gonna say it i was gonna say say it i said it oops um yeah so but i didn't do much art but i did do a triathlon yesterday very impressive um which i was happy about which um me and my brother did a sprint triathlon um and it went really well it was very difficult i have to say um yeah i'm not gonna be doing a triathlon (laughs) anytime soon (laughs) No, um, but that was on my five before twenty five list, so I'm really happy to have ticked one of them off. Yeah, what have you been up to? Um, well, it was my dad's fiftieth birthday. Lovely job, Shout out to Tim who <laughs> writes our music, oh, by yeah. the way. Um, so yeah, he always deserves a, a cheeky shout out. Very true. Um, uh, so that was really fun, and then um, I saw you yesterday, which was nice. And uh, yeah, I've just been seeing a lot of friends really this week. Oh, and uh, obviously I've been on puppy care. Puppy care, yeah. Uh, Mabel yeah. was introduced to our Instagram story the other day. Yeah. Um, she is probably asleep in the she other room right now. She is gorgeous. Yeah, she's she doing great. She yesterday, didn't she? Yes, she looked quite hilarious afterwards. <laughs> but no, yeah, so it's been a pretty chilled week. Oh, lovely. Right, so the cousin tag. The cousin tag. I feel like this is the classic YouTuber thing to do when you have run out of yeah. ideas. Which may I say we haven't. Nope. We Definitely just not. You know, sometimes <laughs> sometimes a tag is just what you want to do. Nice. Yeah, simple. You Thank you for that. Good. Asia. Profound. Profound. <laughs> yeah, so first question is some of them aren't exactly relevant. But we'll answer them anyway. Yeah, we'll, we'll just... speed through some. Some will take longer. So, how and when did you meet? I assume <laughs> we met at the hospital, at the hospital. when you See, were born. <laughs> yes. So, tying in another one, how exactly are you related? We're cousins. Yeah, but I think that means like pair. Uh, yeah. Our parents, so, so our mums are sisters. Our mums are sisters. There you go. Simple as. Um, <laughs> But yeah, because we've always lived fairly close to each other. Yeah, we used um, to live on the same road opposite each other. So I assume when Honor was born that like... See, little children aren't allowed in the hospital. No. So I assume it was... Yeah, I guess maybe it was like your like a first day home or yeah, something. Yeah, I imagine I would have so. thought we would have come over pretty soon after. Pretty soon. Yeah, because I know Aunt Lisa came and saw me in the hospital because we got videos. Yeah. But I, yeah, so I imagine when I got home. Um, so how long have you known each other? So I'm 17. So, so 17 years. 17 years. <laughs> Easy peasy. Um, and there's, who's the youngest? I'm the youngest. There you go. So nice, I simple. was, you're 18 months older. Yeah, so I am 19. You are 17. 17. But you're a July but I, baby. Yeah, I was going to say, I've just had my birthday, so you'll so. be catching up in no time. <laughs> Oh, blimey, this is a weird photo. For those uh, listening, it's this guy just holding a massive snake. Snake In the National Geographic, quoting, I've been bitten a lot after CC, (laughs) I stopped counting. Yeah, no surprise. (laughs) (laughs) Could you count after you've been bitten 60 times? Oh, gosh. Um, What's next? Do you fight or argue a lot? Nah. No, no, not really. What? I'm trying to think of oh we were thinking of earlier we were trying to think of when one we place. we'd argued, Leisha. And I said, oh do you remember that time where we argued in the supermarket and I slapped? You? Yeah, <laughs> I can't remember why we were arguing. I don't I don't even know. It was probably like 
it was in Wales surprise surprise. probably and then I remember we made up because we were buying shampoo together do you remember that we then had to choose shampoo yeah I think I also apologised yeah very quickly I I can't remember why we've never argued we like not really anymore but when we were younger we'd definitely have little squabbles yeah but not really anymore probably you know over stuff like the fantasy game that we were playing yeah the time, definitely yeah. i remember like we wanted to be called diddums and doddums <laughs> and it was we we you we both wanted to be called diddums i didn't even remember do you, that do you, do you remember it now no <laughs> um, um and we both wanted to be called diddums so there wasn't a, an argument though no i think we've also always like when we were young we had quite a silly sense of humor so like we don't know like we don't know so we'd play like the yes and no game oh yeah and like that kind of thing which for those of you who don't know you have a massive conversation but you can't say yes or no um it's a solid one. game um oh, it's just a game oh sorry everybody um so yeah yeah don't, don't really argue who's the most outgoing cousin mm. 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 i would have I would say probably you. It would have used to have been me, but probably but chilled maybe, out a bit. Yeah, I feel like honours sort of <laughs> we've gone the other way. Like I think um, you you've had your like very social moments, very social. But also you you as a family you end up doing a lot of stuff. So I think you just like yeah that's um, true. Grew up in that format of like my weekend needs to be fully booked. Yeah. Um, but now it's like not really like that anymore <laughs> but, um, whereas I'm like booked up like for like the f- a week and a half in advance these days I'm like yeah. how did that how happen? has this happened because I am naturally like um probably more of a extroverted introvert so um yeah which means Basically, you enjoy like social situations oh the dog's I enjoy name, social whatever. situations with it know. when it's with people that I'm like I know and yeah, I'm comfortable with, with but I also love just, you know, hibernating in my room and not talking so to I, anyone. So I, I think my ideal social situation is with, like, two or three people yeah. that I know well. And the exception to that is a Kokoro group where there's... But that's just... That's almost like you're, like, a family meet-up, so... Yeah. Um, okay. Who is all, who's always late to a meet-up? Um, now, <laughs> Honor always likes to be like, yeah, I'm, I get ready really quickly and I, like, no worries. I'll, like, get ready to leave, like, five minutes before we have to go. <laughs> and then, surprise, surprise, it does not take her five not. minutes. So, okay. although I don't think it takes you long to get ready, you just don't plan it at the, ru- like, no. into your schedule. See, here's the thing as so, well. I, so... Oh dear, the doggy's back. I'll just, well, I'll just leave her. Um, I, I've been getting up at five in the morning, a bit in July. Shocking. I know. And I would still be late. <laughs> so, because then I'd, I'd then I'd be like, go for a run, like, do some scrapbooking, like, read a bit, blah, 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 blah. And I still, then like, I was doing so many other things, like, getting ready wouldn't be a priority. <laughs> um... So, see, my thing about being late, if I have to be on time to somewhere, like, it's really important that I'm on time, usually I'm fine. Yeah. It's when it's, like, like, I'm always late to scouts, purely because I'm kind of, like, like, it's fine. Like, it's fine. It's a Does casual arrangement. Um, yeah, so that is my... Fair enough. <laughs> right, I think I'm going to start sticking stuff Who down. takes longer to get ready? <sighs> Probably me. I, d- I think I've sped up you sped up years. like the thing is the reason why it took me so long is because i'd it, it would take me so long to wake up um <laughs> that's true and so i'd i'd then just spend like say an hour getting ready because i was doing everything so slowly um, yeah it's not that you have masses to do you just very slow, slow. <laughs> so i've sped up over the years so you know i can be at the house in like uh well 20 20 minutes is that bad yeah no that's fine i see the thing is i can be out of the house in like what like no time like 10 minutes but i don't enjoy it because that probably means i haven't had a proper breakfast i haven't like really washed properly like i haven't really thought about what i'm wearing 
so I like obviously physically I can exit but it's not great (laughs) (laughs) yeah but um one time I literally the other day I set my alarm so that I could get to church and then I slept like (laughs) I, I turned off my alarm and kept on sleeping and then I woke up and I was like church was starting in like 15 minutes and uh i got there and, hey. like, and I, uh, I went up to my aunt and i was like oh, i've been awake for 15 minutes yeah. she was like congratulations <laughs> I was yeah like, i um had a driving lesson and i woke up like seven minutes before the driving my driving instructor was supposed to be here and I was like, oh no no like run. massive rush um but I, I managed i managed right who's the best cook Oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's See, an easy I one. really like cooking. You're not awful at it. No, I'm getting there. I'm getting made there. an omelette for the first time. There we go. I think it's just if you enjoy cooking, you like experiment with more things. Yeah. And if you, you're not that fussy about it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, very you, true. Yeah. Shall we take a quick break? Yeah. Can we take a break? There you go. We'll be back in a few minutes. Tilly. just had a little break and we gave the puppy lots of attention and a little podcast art update i am still rehenning one of the pockets <laughs> um it's it's not fast i have no, to say it's a slow process it's a slow process uh meanwhile i have glued down all of the pieces i've cut out so far it's sort of looking kind of like a landscape i don't know uh maybe that's only me who can see that but um, yeah, I've got some greens and some blues going on. Uh, it's interesting. We're just gonna keep keep going, <laughs> keep going, keep having at it. Okay. So, do you know where we were? Eleven. Eleven. Um, do you have any nicknames for each other? If so, what are they? Well, as we said, uh, Diddums and Doddums. Diddums and Doddums. Ah, no. Didn't quite. Didn't quite take off, to be honest. Didn't quite stick. No. I mean, um, you have a nickname within our friendship group, but I Fat Boy. Fat Boy. Yeah. Yeah, that was a that was a cracking one. I've. It's not really a nickname, I'd say, because I call you Leash. Or yeah. Leisha, even though your name's Alicia. Yeah, and I call you On. Yeah. yeah. I I think I more call you Honor in person than On over like message. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. But uh, yeah. There you go. There you I go. Guess that, that covers it. Have you ever gotten in trouble together? Probably. Probably, but not like super dramatic, caught by the police, sort no. of in trouble. More just like we were probably just being really, really silly. Yeah, I and bet. um, <laughs> and Auntie Bonnie would have been like, oh, oh no. silly girls. <laughs> Poor. Poor. Disappointing. Yeah. Um, three things that you're completely different about. Mm. Um, you are sporty. Oh, than that's me. quite a big one. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do like sport. Um, it's I just I just don't like most sports. Yeah, uh, we like swimming. We both well. Yeah, you you enjoy swimming in the freezing Welsh Ocean. Oh me. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I I guess I don't instinctively go yeah i'm gonna go for go a run, go for today. run go to the gym that's fair enough you've been swimming a bit though yes i have i have it's been um nice. i'm trying to think what else we're different about we're very similar yeah most people think we're sisters if they meet us for the first time we're like aha uh-huh. oh you like love island well, and, uh, I have a bit of a confession. <laughs> I stopped watching it. I know. Shocking. So it got to, for those of you who don't, if, don't know, Casa Amora, which is basically when they went to another villa and the girls were with new boys and the boys were with new girls. And I didn't have time to keep watching it, so I stopped watching it. And as soon as you stop, like, two episodes, then you lose interest. So I have stopped so watching the, it. Yeah. I don't know if I'd watch it another year probably not so you were very into it for a i was life. into it because when you know all the like you well you sort of get to know all the people and that kind of thing 
you feel like quite involved but now I don't know who anyone is because I've missed it so there are new people and I don't know them blah 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 so then you don't feel like connected or like yeah I'm not interested in what like who any of the new people couple up with because I don't know who they are so that's that fair enough I but know. yeah you, you you have had a habit of watching a few reality shows which is yeah I mean I don't really watch reality shows RuPaul's Drag Race is as far as I go yeah but so maybe that's a slight I, difference yeah I don't know um, should we do similarities yeah. because we we'll probably have a lot more of them sounds good we're both obviously quite into art and creative just creative chai shopping both enjoy yeah um i was gonna Similar say sense tv show wise we both love sewing bee oh yeah do you love Friends. bake off you don't watch bake off i do much. watch oh, bake you do off. watch it good good yeah <laughs> um yeah bake off friends we cross over quite a lot on that yeah <laughs> aspect um what other similarities um quite si- uh, I don't know. I guess we have like similar mannerisms, I yeah, guess. Yeah, mannerisms. Or I was gonna say we have like similar outlooks on on life. On life. Political views. Yeah, that's very true. Environmental views, that sort of thing. I nearly made a, made a comment. I'm gonna I'm gonna You're gonna refrain. I'm gonna f- refrain. Yeah. Fair enough. Um Okay. Describe each other in a single sentence. Ah, <clears throat> uh, ooh. <laughs> ooh. This is an interesting one. Mm. Da, 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 da. Bubbly. That's not a single sentence. Should we just think a word? Yes. Yeah, bubbly. Bubbly. Your life I, bubbly. I, I, I will take that. Take it and run, mate. Um, or take it and <gasps> swim. Um. Single word. It's not an easy one. I was gonna say strident sounds Ooh, like a what does that mean? Um so it means that you're like so I'd see it as you're very like impassioned and like you're very sort of you can you 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 know yourself quite well and yeah. you know your opinions very well. Yeah, if I set my um, mind on so something that's that. That's that, exactly. You're very determined, determined. maybe determined. that would be a good word. There we go. Um the last thing you did together. Well, we had a barbecue last night. We had a barbecue night. last night. It was lovely. We, we had... Oh, uh, that was a very good We barbecue. had some Linda McCartney burgers <sighs> yeah, and sausages. sausages. Salads. Pepper. Pepper. Um, oh, snacks, and we had lemon some... Lemon I was going to say some great pudding. I made that. You made lemon polenta cake? Yeah. I thought Hannah Tate made Hannah and Nate made one of them. Ah, I see. Yeah. Well, I had both, and they were both lovely. Oh, there you go. Um, describe. Oh no! If if you're if you were trapped in a room, what five objects would we want? Oh, so you have to say that for the other person, uh, right? Yeah, let's do it like that. I w- see. Oh, as in just keep self entertained, not as in to get yourself out the room. I assume. Um, I mean take it either way i guess let's do, let's do keep self entertained yeah i'd say obviously sketchbook and <laughs> uh, yes. pencil case yes um so that's two two um i would say you'd probably want a good book yeah you'd probably want that as well and um I think you'd probably want your laptop so that you could have like YouTube yeah, or something. Yeah, you'd probably you're, want Netflix. I was going to say, you're quite a YouTube person, not that like, I... Yeah. Netflix. I like having background noise. Mm. So even if I'm not really listening to what the people are saying, I like just having something in the background. Yeah, a few years ago I might have said that you'd want like a ne- nail varnish kit with you. Yeah, I used to paint my nails so much. But not so much At the now. start of college I'd paint my nails every single day. I just it annoys me because the thing is I've painted them so so much I'm quite good at painting them so they look really lovely and then they just chip which is so frustrating so I don't paint my nails as much anymore um okay what you finish off what what things would you want um so you've said um uh, laptop sketchbook um book book um maybe like some embroidery stuff yeah would be good 
Um, yeah, I mean, that that would sort of do me. That oh, would be fine. Yeah. yeah, just anything that I could play music on, I guess. My phone. Oh, yeah, you know, my phone. phone props. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Okay, so if your parents were out for the evening, who would they leave in charge? Probably neither of us. <laughs> We'd kind of just be like, bye girls. <laughs> yeah, I think um, if we'd been a bit younger... It would have been you. It would have been me purely because I'm the oldest. But like now I feel like we're both, you know, independent enough yeah. to look after ourselves. Exactly. Um, or to both be equally silly. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is the best holiday? Um, and do you, you enjoy spending time with each other? Ovs. Ovs Wales. Ovs Wales. Ovs and Wales. Ovs we do enjoy spending time with each yeah. other. We do it a lot. <laughs> what, what, what more needs to, to be said? We're doing a podcast together. Clearly, we uh, can stand <laughs> being in the same room. And uh, not only do we do a podcast, but we meet up multiple other times during yeah. the week. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to start doing some fine liner over my collage. Yeah, I've so just finished covering the whole thing. I have just hemmed the shape of the pocket. Um, lovely, Josh. Which is lovely. And now I'm going to cut it out on the other um the other side so although I, I don't know how this fine line is going to work one. we'll see another one bites the dust do 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 <laughs> okay. okay um what is the best memory you share we've we've already done a couple of good mems good mems um pro- oh, we need to think of a new one i mean it's not that difficult <laughs> but i mean hmm. A recent fave memory is going strawberry picking together. That was very that nice. Was very cute. Um, I think I can eat strawberries again now. Good. I can eat them for like a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Um, we went to France together a little while that ago. That was good. That was really fun. That was fun. Um, and we would be revising. Um, well, I, me and um, Honor's older brother, Jordan, were revising. And so... Honor would help me do like flashcards in the back of the car. That was quality. That's that quality. quality time. That was There's good so, fun, many so many mints. So many, so many, so many mints. Um, okay. What what is the funny thing funniest thing you've done together? Again, so many of them. Uh, I think Wales. Wales. I mean we did tell the story of the um <laughs> apple bottom apple jeans. jeans. That was Yeah, cracking. where um the sh- Cliff Notes version <laughs> is that um I uh, we were singing along. I slapped Honor's <laughs> bottom in time to the song. And we turn and there's like a load of strangers standing behind There's a load of fishermen this, just standing on behind the, this rock the staring at us. Like, oh, you know what? I meant to say it last week's pod, but I had the funniest dream. I like sat down, or maybe I did say it last week's pod. Oh dear. Well, you might hear it again. Um, so I, I was in my dream and I sat down and I was like, we like press play, and I was like, "What are we? What are we talking about this? Week? What are we supposed to be discussing?" And then like, I don't think we did mention. Oh this. yeah, so I was literally like, "What? What were we even doing?" And then you were like, "Well, I'm talking about this," and I was like, "Right, <laughs> right, sure, okay, then, cool, that's all." Wow, the podcast is now in your dreams. <laughs> Wild. Um, okay, what is your um, cousin's most used sentence or word? Um, fair enough. I say that quite a lot. Yeah, fair enough. You do say a lot. Fairs. Um, noise. Noise. Noise is a good one. Noise. Um, Gucci. You, you used to say sozzy cakes. Sozzy cakes. Sozzy cakes. <laughs> or sorry, not sorry. <laughs> that was like my phrase when I was younger. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> um, I've gone through a few phases as well. There was a point where I. I started saying ha lol. Ha lol. Uh, it sort of ironically, but then it ended up just being part of my vocabulary. Yeah. Um, basically, I think I say uh, a lot. Yeah, I think you do actually. Um, wild has been a new one that I've been oh, doing a lot. Okay. Wild. <laughs> wild. But um, yeah, I think you, you go through phases. I think of I say lovely jubbly quite a lot. Lovely jubbly, yeah. That like is. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> may we, may we? May we, may we? May we, may we? If anyone's watched Only Fools and Horses, (laughs) you know. You know what's going on. Okay. What's your favourite thing to do together? Mm, Probably art. Chad shopping. Chad shopping. Or um, 
or like I think it's when we have family tea parties and we're like just sort of sitting off to one side just and like chilling chilling chuckling about uh, the rest Not of our lot. family <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and just you know doing our own thing that's yeah. always quite nice okay what was the last text message oh you exchanged all right i'm gonna up? have to grab my phone oh well i can probably look on both the chat yeah uh, that's true actually. okay oh so should we go from where we're yesterday? we're dyeing our hair pink and i can oh, only yeah, find yeah, semi-permanent no i could only find permanent dye so anyway i so which we're gonna return and get semi-permanent <laughs> so i said today i was like how's it going babies and <laughs> she said pretty gucci super drug opens at 10 so either i can wait or if I, you can drop me back later we could get it on the way um to mine i was like might as well wait now it's only <laughs> 10 minutes and she was like exactly so wow really really interesting conversation. conversation and right i think do a last uh what's your cousin's favorite color question. yellow is your favorite color it is it is um oh what is your favorite color is it blue or green? i don't really have a favorite color mm. um yeah, i don't know hey. right so we've got a bit of an announcement this is our 10th episode so this is actually going to be the end of season one <laughs> i know <laughs> well, Christ, well. sorry guys but we're going to bring out a new thing called the petty pod um so yeah check out uh so when we're we'll in wales we're gonna do just a little short podcast on, on the beach pod. um which we're very excited about and so that will come out in august at some point at some point um we'll but continue doing our updates on the yeah. instagram account so and we'll still be active over there yeah we'll probably do some little videos maybe yeah some time, time lapses time lapses 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 lapses. Lapses. try and have more content over there for you yeah. guys while we're so away definitely check out instagram page but you know we'll be filming it's going to come out in September. Hopefully so September 2nd is the day we're going to release it. Wow. Yeah. We're stating be, it now. I'll be wild camping at the moment. Uh, the time, yeah, so. it's fine. We'll leave it up to Alicia. She'll get it done. Um, right, there you go. So, thank you very much for listening to season one. Maybe you just did a bit. Joe. <laughs> Joe. Or maybe. Maybe just a, a couple of episodes. A couple of episodes. We know some of you are listening to from like Canada, which is Germany, which is like Right, <laughs> yeah, find us at um, the Sketch Power Pod on and everything. Right. Toodles, Toodles, noodles. Woo! Wah. Wah.